Hello, YouTube. I'm not dead. School started, but I'm not dead. Almost. Okay. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a muzzle flare in the Cycles Render Engine because I haven't seen a good tutorial on it. It doesn't take very long, and it's a lot easier than I had expected. Okay, let's get started. Also, I've been sick. You might be able to hear that in my voice. My nose is still a little stopped up right now. Okay, first thing we're going to do is add in a cylinder. And then I'm going to remember to turn on the screen cast keys so that you guys know what I'm doing. We're going to scale it up on the Z to about there. Tab into edit mode. Add in about five edge loops. Alt select the bottom loop. Turn on proportional editing, either with this button down here or by hitting Alt O. Scale it up, then scale it down using the mouse wheel to control the area of influence. Scale down the very top. And then we're going to add in a subdivision surface. Now you may notice this weird pinching at the bottom. That's easy to fix. Grab that bottom face, hit E, scale it down, turn off proportional editing, bring it down, scale it down. And hit E again, scale it to the center. It just needs a bit more geometry. But the shape you're going for is a candle shape. Also, hit Control A, apply the rotation and the scale. This video may cut a bit. If it does, that's because I coughed during the recording. Um, sorry about that, I'm still sick. The next thing we're going to do is add in a displacement modifier and hit new texture. Then we're going to go over to this texture editor and change the texture to a cloud texture. Change the size to 0.75 and turn up the depth. Also this is a bit narrow for a muzzle flare so hit S shift Z to scale it on every axis but the Z. Make it a bit fatter. There we go. Come back over here and turn the strength up to 1.3 and add in another subdivision surface. Also going to turn on smooth shading. And I kind of want some smaller ripples on top of our large ripples, so I'm going to add in another displacement. Hit this up button to put it above the last subdivision surface and click new texture. Go to the texture editor and change this one to 0.25. Oop. Go to displace 001 and change it to 0.25. There we go. Make sure they're different. Okay, and you may notice this weird pinching deformation up at the top. That's pretty easy to fix. Hit Control Tab and hit F to turn up the size of your brush. This is the weight paint mode. And then hit Control 1. We want to paint the whole thing red. Also, to see it, we're going to turn on the vertex group. When you start weight painting, it automatically creates a vertex group. Okay, I'm going to turn down the size of my brush. Hit T and change the weight down to 0.3. Then I'm going to hit 7. I'm also going to hit Z so that I can paint everything that I see. I'm also going to hit Control 7, go to the bottom, hit Z again, and paint everything down there too. There we go. And now, hit Control Tab to go back into object mode. Our weird deformers are at least a lot less up here. You can spend more time if you want to on the weight painting, but this is good enough. Especially since muzzle flares are an asset that's only visible for about one or two frames, no one's going to notice the tiny, tiny details in them. Okay, now we're going to create the material. We're going to hit create new material, go into compositing, go to the material tab down here and delete the default diffuse. Then we're going to add in an emission shader and plug the emission into the volume 
go over here and see the preview. I'm going to turn the strength up to 8. And I'm going to add in a ramp, a color ramp. I'm going to connect the color output of the color ramp to the color input of the emission shader. And I'm going to change the black level of the color ramp to a dark red. And I'm going to turn the white level into a yellowish color. I'm going to pull the red over. A bit like that. Hit render to see how it looks. Make the red a bit lighter. Okay. Now I'm going to add in a camera. Hit 1 to go in the front view down here and hit Control alt 0 to bring the camera to your view. And then I'm going to hit G and middle mouse click and move my mouse diagonally to move it. There we go. Then I'm going to hit F12 to render. There's our muzzle flare. Let me just turn the background transparent, transparent, transparent under the film tab in the render settings. And now I'm going to go over to the compositing node tree. While here, I'm going to click Use Nodes, re-render just so I get the transparency in the back. And you may notice that the center has disappeared. That's fine. All of our color data is still there. It's just it needs a background to be visible. So we're going to add one. Add an alpha over. Put that in there. But I'm going to plug it into the bottom and change the top to black. Top being the background. Then I'm going to add in a blur node. I'm going to turn, ah, turn it to 8 on the X and Y. Having trouble talking today. And then I'm going to add in a glare. I'm going to change this glare to a fog glue. Change the threshold down to 0. And maybe turn the size down to 7. Yeah. Eh, 8's fine. And for me, there's just not enough red there. So I am going to come over here, move the red in. Whoop, too much red. Hit F12 again. There we go. That's a result I'm pretty happy with. That's too red. And you can play with the colors until you get whatever you like. Okay, there we go. And anyway, that's how you make a basic muzzle flare. And you don't have to do this post-processing inside Blender. You could just as easily render out this and put it into whatever compositing program you want to and add in the blur and the alpha over in there. But this is just an easy way to do it. Or you could export this and change your blending mode to screen to get rid of the black background. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And also, some updates. I'm building a website for all of you lovely people who like to watch my videos. And I'm also planning to make a tutorial series for beginners. I have plans written down in my notebook, it's just a matter of finding time to do them since I have, in my infinite wisdom, decided upon a school schedule where I try to complete 15 credit hours in one semester. It has been very, very busy. In fact, I'm not doing my homework right now, instead I'm doing this. <laughs> Which, I say I'm wasting time doing this, but I've been wasting time all day. Stay in school, kids. I hope this has helped you guys. I'll see you next time. Also, I'm thinking about changing the name of my channel. I don't know. Intensity Digital is just kind of... I don't know. I don't, I'm not feeling it anymore. Back when I was 15 and I made it, I thought it was awesome. But now, it's not seeming as awesome. So, post what you would like it to be in the comments. And I might just pick it. No. Well, thinking maybe Fractured Light. That sounds like a pretty cool name for a visual effects channel. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. And this is Intensity Digital out.